What is going on, YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing a little bit of an update in the missing persons case of Molly Miller and Colt Haynes, who went missing after a car chase in Wilson, Oklahoma, almost nine and a half years ago. But despite that time that's passed, their families are still actively searching for the truth and working to bring the two home. Now, they had been planning for months to search Battle Springs Ranch where Moxley Pond is. And that pond has been the subject of some cadaver dog hits that Toby Thomas, the owner of that property, recently did, according to Rob Dorfman. Rob and his wife, Cindy Dorfman, have been exploring the, the disappearance of Molly Miller and Colt Haynes through their podcast, Partners in Crime, over the past year. And... They, they've they've been very dedicated to bringing coverage to the case. 17-year-old Molly Miller and 22-year-old Colt Haynes have not been seen since the summer of 2013 after a car chase with the Wilson police. James Con Nip was driving the car that Miller and Haynes were in and drove off the road and into the woods near Oswald and Long Hollow Roads in Love County. Nip was prosecuted for the chase, but no one has ever been charged in the disappearance of Molly Miller and Colt Haynes. And that is why they have been wanting to search the pond for years. So, together with Molly's cousin, Paula Fielder, and the landowner, a former FBI agent, and a CSI technician, they started digging just after Thanksgiving. They spent two days at that pond and created an excavation type of environment, according to Rob. They had sifting screens and stuff like that, and people with rakes and this gigantic backhole was dumping gingerly just tons of dirt in front of the excavation crew. Pumped all They pumped all the water out of that hole, and it took like 40 minutes, according to Rob and Cindy. What they found is what they believe to be a tongue. And I want to interject here, okay? Because, again, we've got to remember that Molly and Colt have been missing for nine and a half years. Nine and a half years. Hot Oklahoma summers, okay? Decomposition would have eaten that tongue up within nine and a half years, guys. There is no way... Even if they found a tongue out there, there's no way, in my opinion, that that tongue would possibly be connected to Molly and Colt's case. Between the decomposition and the type of wildlife environment that you've got in Oklahoma, there would be nothing left of either of their tongues or bodies if, except for skeletal remains at this point. Um, they did bring a medical examiner out. But days later, tests showed the finding to be a type of fungi. Imagine that, because again, there would be no tongue out there after all these years. They said that the components of the fungi are very similar to humans. Just when you look at it under a microscope, it was an easy mistake to make, but it's not stopped the team from wanting to see what is in that hole. They also brought in more cadaver dogs for the dig, and the dogs did hit within five to ten minutes of being in that same spot where all the dogs had hit prior to this. So they believe there is something in there now. The question remains, is it Molly and Colt? And they really don't know. Um, the Bureau of Indian Affairs is now on the case, which is a good thing. Uh, you know, we need answers after all this time. I'm a native Oklahoman, and this is one of the cases that has really just stuck in my craw for years. Um, so the Bureau of Indian Affairs is now the lead agency on the case, and that's, that's huge. And it's a huge sense of relief for the family and everyone that's been involved in this case, just knowing that they are now looking into it. Um, you know, they're already at it. They're investigating new tips and past tips that have come along over the, the previous years. So we, you know, there is progress being made on Molly and Colt's case. 
Again, hopefully the Bureau of Indian Affairs can shed some new light on it. It seems to me that they are probably going to do more than the local law enforcement there in Wilson, Oklahoma has in the nine and a half years that they've had to solve the case. Because for those of us that, that are from that area, we can tell you how lackluster the investigation into Molly and Colt has been. The family's never been satisfied with it. Uh, and, you know, in my opinion, the, you know, James Nip, who was driving that car when Molly and Colt went missing, he should have been arrested long ago. He's a very sketch person, not just set aside his connection to Molly and Colt's disappearance. He, he's got a very sketchy history and a past, and I've done a previous video on Molly and Colt's disappearance. It's in my playlist, if you'd like to look at it, where we go into their disappearance in detail and everything. So, I'm going to wrap this video up. I really want to thank everyone for tuning in and watching. Uh, let's pray that there is new light shed on this case and that the Bureau of Indian Affairs is finally able to solve this disappearance to bring closure to Molly and Colt's families after all these years. Uh, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and let's find out what happened to Molly and Colt after the nine and a half years that they've been missing.